So I think Game Night was a fun movie. It, they killed me with that Frito-Lay joke, and it's one that I give a solid rent to. I think you should watch it with your friends on a game night. And considering that it's one that's really heavy on twists and turns, a lot of people in my screening were laughing throughout the movie, and then they left at the end talking like Crazy Frog. What's going on? Let me explain. You got three main couples. These two are the competitive bunch who met at bar trivia. They had a DDR machine at their wedding. They're always playing games and are very competitive in order to win. And they pretty much do, except when it comes to having a baby. These two spend the whole movie wondering who cheated on who with a uh, fake Denzel. And these two are... These two are just funny. Trailer pretty much breaks down that the competitive dude's brother is coming over, but he's even more competitive since he's always been the successful brother. He's like the entrepreneur, and when he comes over, he's like, screw Monopoly and your boring game night. I'm gonna get kidnapped and all of you guys need to find me. Turns out that this is like an actual thing that you can do in real life, like pay a mystery center to do this for you, but I mean, after this movie, probably not. Everyone's excited to play the game because he's offering up his brand new car. Just the keys? No, Ryan, the whole car. Thing is, is that somebody else comes to kidnap the brother before the entertainment people do, and it turns out that the brother ain't even an entrepreneur, but a smuggler who's got more enemies than Drake. So the three couples now find themselves uh, trying not to get killed, but to go save the brother, only to realize as they go through all of these perilous acts that it was all set up by the neighbor. What? Turns out that their neighbor cop, played excellently by Matt Damon Jr., used to attend their game nights back in the day, and he used to be cool with them, but then his wife left them and he became, uh, weird-er. His massive plan, once he hears what the brother is doing, which he, like, magically finds out, is to create the ultimate game night even better than that by using ex-cons, who he shortens their sentence for. All the guns and props that he has are fake, except for the brothers, hence the bloody cat. And he sets up this massive cat and mouse chase for his friends so that at the end he can die a hero by saving them so they can finally admit to him, we're sorry, buddy, we'll invite you to game night. Then he wipes off the ketchup blood and goes, thanks, that's all I wanted to hear. Of course, you know, uh, cops maybe have done worse things in real life, but, you know, this is a movie, and I guess it makes sense since he has all that intel that they give to cops, and, you know, they're not running background checks to make sure that he's stable, but what really had me going, what? Is the fact that, as a cop, he would know that the brother is into smuggling, it's got a lot of uh, background to him. I mean, it's in his research. Uh, Bateman types it up in his computer. The brother literally says it to his crew that he's a criminal. And so even though this whole thing is the cop's game to get back at his friends, the actual crime lord is still out there. And he appears at the end, played by... Dexter of all people, and the movie goes back into being that non-serious thriller. So to recap, since, you know, there's a bunch of game nights going on, there's really a total of three. The smuggler brother comes over and he has this fake game night that doesn't go through because they arrive late. The neighbor cops is the main fake game night, which does go through since, you know, he's doing it all so his friends can love him again. The last one is, is really just more of a kidnapping because the crime lord appears because uh, he's looking for a piece of paper with witness protection info and he needs to kill them. This one does result in dead people. Oh! But you see, by the end of it all, the three game nights were really just meant to mend things. The brother's game night, turns out, was supposed to be all a setup and it was rigged for his brother to win the car since the keys were always in his pocket and luckily never fell out. The cop just wanted to be reunited with his comrades and rejoin the group, and Dexter just needed another job. At the end, the brother semi-leaves his life of crime. Both couples unite, the main couple has their baby through charades, and we learn that you should always, always invite your neighbor to game nights. Just stick to Monopoly. Thank you guys for checking out this video. As always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Let me know what your favorite joke was. Like I said, mine was the Frito-Lay's joke. I thought it was the one that stood out the most. And that happens like earlier in the movie, uh, but I thought it was a solid film. It does take place like in a dumb little universe since everything's not necessarily real. So it makes some of the stakes not as high as they should be. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know any other movies you want me to cover down below in the comments section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will send you that three for one Frito-Lay deal.